but the party taught me how to think and analyze and how most importantly how to fight for a better life. Did you see that article on the front page of the New York Times uh, a couple of weeks ago about this English guy, working class guy, grew up in a very poor area, went to, well, grew up in public housing, very poor, but he did very well in school. He got a scholarship to Cambridge, scholarship to Cambridge, but he went there and he couldn't afford to find an apartment to live in. He couldn't even carry out a scholarship. But he, and so he, he said, his main point was, I believed in the system. I did. He said, but the system didn't believe in me. And everything that I was struggling against, they didn't solve for me. So I became a socialist. <laughs> Now, he also said that he met communist union leaders and activists, and they inspired him. One lady who said, I am the real thing, or something like that, and put a t-shirt out about her communist affiliation. And then everybody started wearing it in a certain part of ain't London. It was very popular. It became chic, you know, and all that stuff. But what did Marx say? And capitalism creates their own grave diggers. And it's those conditions that they have imposed on us. I became a communist because we couldn't afford to put coal in our house in the winter in Philadelphia, in that house we live in. That we had rats the size of cats <laughs> in the Mill Creek area of West Philadelphia, which um, Will Smith is from West Philadelphia and all that. I became a communist because all we had was hard times. That is the most important thing. And this is also why I became a <laughs> To make a better world for her and all my children and all the children of the world. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> well, James Baldwin said something very profound, many things very profound. It was something that moved me. He said, black people can't afford to be pessimist. Well, what is he saying? It's brilliant. Because if you don't believe you're going to be free, you're not going to fight too hard to be free. And when he tells the story of the workers in Alabama, and my family, both my mother's side and my father's side were sharecroppers in North Carolina. Grew up that way. My father came to Philadelphia with maybe a fifth grade education. He never really wrote much thing, many things down. But he was a hardworking class guy. African American and all of that. Thanks, baby. And um, this, uh, I missed my point. She, she wrote it. <laughs> um, the point I'm trying to make is that this party, which has been pronounced dead a uh, hundred thousand times, as the uh, head of the Indian party said after '91 and the Soviet Union collapsed. They have uh, over a million members in India. They've recently gone through a big surge of membership. And he said that we have been told that the Communist Party is dead. He said, I just left a meeting of a million communists. That is the liveliest corpse I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it possible for 100 years for this party to survive? Why? And, and suffer setbacks. Whole leadership was sent to jail. The party was basically rendered illegal. Families were attacked and really some of them destroyed. But they kept on fighting. I think you have to say that history is on their side. It was on our side. It was on your side. And this is no time to retreat. And I know some of our really smart people who know how to unfold big intellectual talks and argue, are saying, we're never going to beat this guy. He's too devious. He's too dishonest and so on. That is why we're going to beat him. Right. He's coming down. I'm telling you right now, he is coming down. Listen. When, when at the height of Jim Crow, at the height of lynching and murdering us out, African Americans couldn't afford to be pessimistic. They were hurting, but they knew they had to struggle. 
we communists similarly. We know we have to struggle and we have to make this a better world. Yes. And we will with your help. So some of you in this room are in the Communist Party. I love you madly, as Duke Ellington said. But to some of you, you're not a member of the Communist Party, and we need you. We need you. There's some cards around here. I heard, I heard, I heard uh, somebody mention that they were. They're in the back. As you go out, please take one.